The Beautiful Rose My beautiful rose, oh my beautiful rose, we are heading to the mountains to visit my grandmother, so I must heavily water you. It is possible that I will be late because my grandmother is ill and my mother will be nurturing her. Hattie filled the jug of water and poured it over the flower. Slow down, Hattie, cried the rose. Plentiful water will not benefit me. A little is enough. I'm afraid you'll go thirsty, my beautiful rose, replied Hattie. My absence will be prolonged and you cannot bear it. Do not worry. I will take very good care of myself, she replied. Send my greetings to your grandmother. Leaving the rose behind, Hattie headed to the mountains with his mother. There they met his ill grandmother, but his mind was preoccupied with the beautiful rose. A week of Hattie's absence passed, but upon his return, he found a surprise. Where is my rose? Where are you, my dear one? Who are you? I don't know you, the stranger replied. I am your rose. It is me. You are not my rose. It cannot be, cried Hadi. Why are you seated in her spot? I am rose, you, your withered flower, she replied. Hadi was shocked. But why are you so wilted? And what are these thorns around you? I have wronged you. Please forgive me. Hadi rushed to fill the jug and water the rose. The rose was quenched and moved its petals. Do not grieve, Hadi. I knew this would happen to me as the heat was intense. I am not upset for I am closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through my thirst, said the rose. And I share the pain of console Imam Hussain alayhi salam, his women and children through the thirst. Hadi was amazed as the rose went on. Is Muharram not upon us? These days are sadness and grief. I knew you would water and take care of me, but I wanted to share the pain and comfort the children of Imam Hussain alayhi salam in their thirst. May Allah reward you, my rose. But these swans harm you. How can you bear them? He questioned. I must remove them. But as he removed them, the rose began to cry. Why do you cry, my little one? He asked. I am reminded of the children of Imam Hussain alayhi salam on the day of Ashura. She wept. I am reminded of how the Imam removed the thorns and splinters from the edge of the campsite to protect his children from harm. The rose wept and Hadi joined in, in with his heavy tears. Peace, Peace be, be upon Hussain, Ali the son of Hussain, the children of Hussain, and the companions of Hussain. Peace be upon them.